Okay. So hopefully Gortash is right behind this door. Oh, okay. No time to rest. I was expecting the door to be a lock, but whatever. Ooh. Savy. Come on guys, let's go kick his ass. Oh, we're gonna have dinner. This was your doing, wasn't it, Karlak? The destruction of my steel watch. Such a petty vengeance. Those things were evil. Just like their papa. To think I ever worked for you. <laughs> Proudly, too. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart, as though any of it was yours to give away. The Did. greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. Oh, uh, Karlak. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Uh. <laughs> Save scum. <coughs> hmm. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. But now we must look to the future. You make it sound like we were lovers. Oh, friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. You betrayed oh, boy, me for the drama. I still don't quite understand. But I suppose evil has no real cause. It just is. Until it isn't. <laughs> Carlock's going to go you Super Saiyan. Rat. You're going to burn this place down. Good. <laughs> My uh, cord smug face. Say goodbye, Gortash. No, you have to stop her. Do it now. I mean, he's not that strong, is he? <laughs> Wait, what's this? A shell of resistance. Yeah, flame strike. Can I move that thing? I can't. <coughs> Let's just go right here. <coughs> You're halfway dead, dude.
Do I have any healing potions on Karlak? Do not. I might be able to 1v1 him with just Karlak alone. It should do it. Okay, Gortash was strong. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. <laughs> Perhaps a bit uglier. Uglier. I feel like I should laugh. But just too gods damn tired. Is that it then? Killed the bastard who ruined my life and now I crawl into a corner and die. Am I fucking missing something? I can't do it anymore. Ten years, man. It's enough. It's enough. He's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Don't say that. So you found some way to fix me. That now Gortash is dead, I'll get my heart back. My heart. Ah, uh, it feels so awful. And they took it. I'm going to be as dead as Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what? Then, off to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion, into the dirt to get eaten by maggots. Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night. All of it, all of it. That's my reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived ten years of torment! The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness, <laughs> the fucking loneliness! All of it so I could rot! Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil! <laughs> to say the wrong thing um, it is what it is it's time for a soldier to move I deserve better I, I thought that would made her feel more. better I deserve to live I deserve to live <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do now Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. 
You might only find the pile of ash, but I'll be there all the same. Damn. We got all three of them. It's time to snap our fingers. Why? There it is. So innocent. But such potential. You have done very well indeed. The nether stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The thrum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. The location of the nether brain. Beneath the city itself. So that's where the chosen imprisoned the brain. Why do you think they put it to there? To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. Do you think we're ready to face the other brain? With the stones in hand and the chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. You know Baldur's Gate best. Uh, how do we find this morphic pool? If memory serves, there are smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. Okay. A note. I could get you back into the House of Hope. Huh. Oh, we can go back to camp now. <laughs> okay, well, there's... I need a Sterion back. <laughs> and we're pretty beaten up right now. Withers... Who's going to be my final team, though? Well, I am debating between Gale. I think Gale and Karlak. Perhaps. Besides me and Asterion. I mean, besides me and Shadowheart. Shadowheart's our healer. For the most time. <laughs> Fate. Dost thou require a new I need to resurrect someone. This is the price of power. Here's well, the gold. By doom hey, and Gail. dusk. No sense dawdling. Karlak has precious little time left to her. But do better than to waste it. Then eh, join With me. I'm still thinking about Karlak. About what she said. God. There really is no justice in the world. Yeah, I think it's better oh, if you stay. Darling, I'm hurt. I thought... Please just stay uh, here. It sounds... Okay. Let's see these new robes we picked up from him. Gauntlet, he can't be frightened. Oh, I'm going to give that to Gale. And this. 
I think I'm going to give that to Carlac because she's the only one who really uses a crossbow. Hey, Carlac. Hey, soldier. You're back. Um. Yeah. You alright? Despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Carlat just won't let me. Did I miss anything important? Uh. Nothing important. That's a change. Seems like world shattering revelations are coming at us from every angle these days. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. Gail literally has a nuke. Has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am. There you are. Breathing. Talking. Even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm... Happy. If you're ha uh, very gods, I've changed. I used the hamstring pit fiends for fun. Look at me now. Pit fiends. That is worse. There's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me? When it's time for me to go. I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. Thank you. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet. And our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry any more, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. How do you feel, Will? The agony of knowing the end is near. I spent years swatting away my fears and doubts of my infernal fate. And I eventually made my peace. I had to. You will too, Karlak. I know it. Uh, I'm not Karlak, though. No more slaves. We just started this episode. Liberators, saviors, pawns, dupes, fools. returns oh joyous hour i know you're you who worked for gortash how exactly are you and our esteemed archduke acquainted <laughs> we were lovers it was all very steamy <laughs> what a juicy morsel i didn't think he liked your type anyway you seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon. I knew it. I did. Hmm. Uh... Oh, yeah. I think we're good here. Oh, yeah, we got this. The first hit's free, eh? God, 
fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You just referred to me as mortal. You stand before Mammon's picklock, latch keeper of the nine hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. Where in the hell's the portal go? <laughs> my word. This is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked what I did for Lord Gortash. You paid the fee and I answered you. Our pact is complete. Would you like to make another transaction? Ah, uh, you asshole. Okay, pay 100 gold. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. That's the so Lord I of the Second Hell, if I remember into correctly. The dusty vault. I mean, the second layer and of hell. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. <laughs> Pay a hundred gold. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. I agree. Uh, can you help me break into the what House of Hope? fascinating Hulk? proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Wow, thanks. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. 20,000 gold. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. And for what? The devil has nothing that you need. Okay, let us let's try persuasion. It's going yeah, I was expecting it to be twenty. Uh let's try advantage. put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Sure. I mean, okay. If I would prefer for them to go to Carlac, but fine. Let's do this. Allow me let's go to beat up. How this is going to work? First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take. This key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! Okay. I 
strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. Whatever you expect to gain from the Hells is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited. 